that was uh, <clears throat> a fairly rough rendition of Aztec Cameras' uh, Get Me Back On Board from 1983 off of uh, the album Highland Hard Rain. And uh, I think Roddy Frame probably wrote most, if not all, of that music. And he's uh, just a marvelous songwriter and uh, guitarist. Um, so yeah, I had a request to do a tutorial of this song, um, so I'm going to do that now. Um, yeah, so the main chord of the song is really here at the fourth fret. Um, in uh, this shape here, where you're compressing the B and E string at the fourth, the G string at the fifth, and the D string at the sixth. <laughs> Right? So that's where we're uh, going to be launching a lot of the song. But to get there, um, especially on the live version, Roddy does a really nice kind of gradual work down the neck uh, to this position. So that work down, uh, we're going to focus on the B and E string. B and E string only, really. Uh, so we're here at the 11th fret where we're going to go from the 11th to the 13th to the 11th and then work down the neck. So here's how it goes and we'll break it down. So kind of a quick cascade down the neck there on these uh, in pitch highest two strings even though they're the lowest on the uh, on the uh, fretboard here. I always think of them as the highest because they're highest in pitch. So again, we go from uh, compressing the B and E, and we're going to jump up here to the 13th, hammer on and pull off. Then we're going to quickly jump down here to the 5th, to the 7th. So it's the same move. And then we're going to quickly take that and slide it down into that fourth position. And notice that puts us right here, ready for this chord. Which we can then use to go back up the neck, which is what he does for the verses uh, and into the intro. So uh, something like this. Whoops. Got to make sure not to hit any stray strings. <laughs> it's not always so easy to do. So what we do there uh, is we're here at the fourth in this position. Quickly jump up to the uh, sixth fret on the B and E. And then just up to the eighth. Then we jump up to this lovely little chord here at the 11th, 12th, and 13th frets. That's 11th fret high E, 12th fret uh, G string, and 13th fret B string. And we're going to bring our pinky in behind it to play an accent. So here's this lovely chord, just three strings. <laughs> but we're going to play a little accent note here with the pinky at the 13th fret high E. See how we do that? So again, from the 4th, then a quick jump here to the 8th where we're barring and then you're playing the B string at the 9th and the D string at the 10th. And By the way, I looked up these chords uh, using my reverse chord finder app. None of these chords are standard chords. They're all funky add nine, diminish this, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to try to impress you giving you these 
esoteric chord names. I'm just going to show you the shapes, incidentally. All right. So here we are at this point. And then the next chord is here. We're barring the sixth. And I'm in this shape. Yep. So barring the sixth, then I'm at the eighth fret G string and ninth fret high E. And I do this little action on it. So what I'm doing there is lifting off my pinky and bringing it on the um, eighth fret high E from the ninth to the eighth. We jump right back down here to the fourth in this shape. And all I'm doing there is bringing in the pinky on the B string at the sixth. Then we do the whole thing over again. And I always hit that stray <laughs> D string um, or the A string. Or what it, whichever it is, but uh, try not to hit it. So that's the run we've just learned. Okay. Um, now, where we go from there, uh, as we go into the bridge that takes us into the chorus is we're going to just gradually work our way up the neck with some very cool jazzy chords. And let's see if I can remember it from here. And then we're ready to jump into the chorus, get me back on board. So how do we do what I just did there? So we're here at the fourth. We're going to take this shape and going to hold it, but move it to the fifth. The next chord after that is here at the um, uh, seventh fret, seventh fret, and catching the A string at the ninth. Whoops, let's see. <laughs> there we are. I'm actually at the 6th fret. 6th fret and the 8th fret at the A string. Next chord is the same bar, but we're going to be playing the D and the B string. And we're going to do a little accent note with the pinky. Notice how I just slid my pinky up to the ninth fret. So again, that little exchange here at the, at the sixth. Next chord is here at the eighth with the A string at the 10th and the G string at the 9th. And the final chord of the run is here, we move it up to the 9th, same shape, so A string at the 11th and G string at the 10th. Now, you also want to add your pinky here at the 12th at the B. And at the very end, you want to lift off your pinky and catch the high E string for one note. Hammer on and pull off. So again, that's... So when we put that all together, whoops. So that 
that's that uh, bridge preparing to jump you into the chorus. The uh, get me back on board part, right? So we go back to the fourth here, which is this foundational chord. And let's see, I'm going to play the uh, chorus through once and then we'll break it down. going on there but uh, let's just break it down it's how you learn everything right just little by little so our chorus is uh, in the same position at the fourth that I showed you at the intro so uh, at the uh, B and E at the fourth the G at the fifth and the D at the sixth So I'm just accenting there on the B string at the 6th with my pinky. You can see that. And I apologize for the uh, poor guitar angle. In truth, I think the best way to make one of these videos would be with a GoPro on my head looking straight down at the chord this way. But um, I don't have that gear yet, but as soon as I do, I think instructional videos, I'll shoot them like that so that everybody can see exactly what's going on. But, uh, okay, so here we go. We're back here. Okay, now you're going to make a move here where you keep your index finger on the... Uh, G, B, and E at the fourth, then your middle finger at the D string at the fifth, and then your ring finger is going to come down and hit the high E at the sixth, and your pinky is going to be on the uh, G string at the sixth. So this is kind of a, a funky shape there, but you make this shape so that you can move your ring finger to change bass notes. So it goes something like this. Can you see that? Okay. So again, we're here. come right back to this shape. Now to set up to go back into to run down the end of the chorus we're gonna go from uh, this shape here that you all know. We're gonna create a quick bar at the fourth. So bar the fourth Leave your middle finger at the G string 5. Your ring finger goes down to the A string 6. And your uh, pinky is at, the, is at the B string 7th. So it's a little bit of a kind of a, a spidery looking chord shape there. But it's a really nice kind of uh, kind of Beatlesque turnaround chord as you go to work down the neck to finish this out. So it goes like this. Let's see if I can remember where to go. So how do 
did we do that? So we were, uh, let's see, here. Okay, so that's the part I left you off on. So what you do now is you keep that middle finger in place there with the same bar, and now you're going to fret the a D string at the 6th and the B string at the 6th in this kind of triangle shape with your fingers. Next chord is moving down to the 3rd with a bar, and then at the 5th on the D, uh, uh, D string 5th fret and the B string 6th fret. So notice how I move my pinky from the 6th to the 5th, just shifting it like that. Hopefully you can see that. Next chord is stay at the 3rd. I'm going to shift down a bit. Stay at the third and go into this shape here, which is the D string at the fifth and the B string at the fourth. Then we jump into uh, this really cool jazzy chord shape, uh, which is, I really like to play this chord up and down the neck. Now, how do I do that? So at the third fret, I'm compressing with my ring finger the uh, G, B, and E. Then at the second fret, I catch the D string. And then at the third fret, I come over with my middle finger and catch the A string. And you get this fabulous. And the way Frame plays this, as far as I can tell, as he goes like this, it's just a quick progression down the neck. And then if you have a tremolo, you can kind of give it that nice. Or not. But uh, so that's a shape. Now we're just going to move it to the second. And then to the first. So we pull off the index finger. And we're fretting the G, B, and E at the first, leaving the D string open, and then catching the A string at the first. So that progression. The next chord you jump to is here at the fourth. And this is a kind of a George Harrison uh, taxman uh, chord, but he's playing it here at the third. We're playing it at the fourth, okay? So fourth fret B string, uh, fifth fret D string, sixth fret G string, and sixth fret A string. And you are actually muting that high E with your index finger. Because if you don't mute it, here's what you get. That sounds pretty bad, right? But if you mute it, you get this, which is better. And then to finish off that run, we jump up here to the ninth fret and compress the G, B, and E. And then at the 11th fret with your pinky, and you, you get this really nice kind of almost style council -y sounding chord. So you don't want to play this open A string. That sounds totally wrong, right? So you just want to play these top three strings. chord I show you at the fourth. Okay, that probably was fairly mind-bending, and I apologize for how laborious all that is, but it's, it's not easy to explain all those 
crazy chords coming one after the other there, but hopefully you could stay with me. So that's, that's, um, and that's just going to take some practice to jump from this ninth fret thing. right into this other shape at the 4th fret. So, that's the verse, the, the intro, the verse, the chorus. Then there is part 2 of the chorus, and that goes something like this. Let's see if I can remember exactly how to do this. and I apologize for the mistakes there. But what I'm doing there is just barring at the fourth and then using my ring finger to smash down the D, G, and B string at the sixth. And then bringing in my pinky at the seventh at the B string. Now, I'm keeping the bar the same but I'm now fretting the uh, G string at the 5th, the A string at the 6th, and the B string at the 7th. I'm accenting the high E string there and coming back to the, the uh, 7th fret with the B. Then I go back to the same thing. Then jump down to the third, same shape, and slide it up. So here, where he sings, back on board, you're just going to come in and catch the high E. Now that's a really hard part there where you've got to reach up to the uh, ninth fret with your pinky while holding this chord shape here. Then we jump up here to the eleventh and the same chord shape we use down here we're going to be at the eleventh and we're going to play it Jump to the 10th and slide it up to the 11th. Back here. Whoops. And you can play that verse as many times as you like, because um, that's kind of the outro to the song. But so there you go. There's back on board as best as I can play it. And boy, that part sounded really shitty that I. It's almost like you reach up to the ninth with the pinky and then you roll back a little bit with your ring finger here at the sixth and catch that high E. Well, guys, that's about as well as I can teach that song. I apologize uh, for my clumsiness, but hopefully that was helpful. And uh, 
It's a great fun song to learn, fun to play. So cheers. Thanks for watching.